Hi, today we're going to do a review of the 2014 Scott Spark 750 mountain bike, uh, which of course is part of the 700 series that Scott are offering this year in 27.5 or 650B wheel size. They also offer the 900 series, which is a 29 inch wheel size in the Spark range. Uh, what I'll do is I will go through all the componentry, the specs of the bike, and then talk about my personal experience having ridden and owned the bike now for uh, a couple of weeks and, and done sort of five or six hours on it on a range of different trail types uh, and then we'll just talk about the pros and cons of uh, 26 versus 27.5 versus 29 inch wheel size having owned all three in the last two years. Right, we'll start with the front suspension. Uh, Scott have chosen to go with the Fox Float 32 Evolution fork in a 120mm of suspension travel. On the front and on the rear they've gone with the uh, Fox Evolution Shock also 120mm of suspension travel on the rear. Uh, both have the trail descent climb function that Scott offer. Uh, and something that is unique to Scott bikes is this handy wee adjuster switch that allows you to adjust between the three settings on the fly which is a fantastic feature that is only available on Scott bikes. Um, We'll go through to the uh, drivetrain now. Uh, on the rear, Scott have gone with the Shimano XT rear derailleur, which is a, a fantastic derailleur, shifts seamlessly. Uh, front derailleur, they've gone with Shimano Dior. Uh, it's in the higher end of the Dior range, so it is pretty good actually for a, for a Dior shifter. Uh, the shifters are uh, Shimano Dior as well, also in the higher end of the Dior range, and to be fair, do shift pretty uh, well as, as well, I can't fault them. Brakes Shimano. Uh, tires, we've got Swelby Rocket Rons, which uh, are of slightly more aggressive tread pattern than some race orientated tires, uh, such as the Racing Ralph. But uh, I've found them to be great. They're certainly uh, good for the mixture of riding that I do, from you know, racing type trail to, uh, to rough uh, type tracks. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, Scott on this bike uh, and on, on their higher end bikes now offer this bottom bracket adjust uh, screw here, which by removing this uh, wee screw, you can adjust the bottom bracket height by 7mm on the spark range and also by doing that adjust the front fork angle by half a degree. So that's the componentry or the main components of the bike. Uh, now I'll speak about my personal experience having ridden the bike now for approximately 6 hours. Uh, I do a lot of riding on sort of fast flowing race type single track, bermed corners and so forth. Uh, and I have found the, uh, the, the the spark to be brilliant on that sort of track. Uh, it, it, it accelerates exceptionally well. The 27.5 uh, wheels are brilliant. Uh, it, it also rolls exceptionally well. Uh, possibly not quite as good as a 29er, but it, as far as rolling, but you certainly make up for it with acceleration out of corners and just uh, manoeuvrability. Uh, on the more steeper technical tracks with rocks and obstacles to avoid, uh, this bike really does uh, come into its own. Uh, the ability to manoeuvre between rocks and just change lines quickly with the 27.5 inch wheels is, is just unbeatable in my opinion. With the 29 I had previously to this, I, I couldn't do that. We're pretty well committed to riding over obstacles. The 26er, you could do that, but then when you rode over, rode over obstacles, you just didn't have quite the same confidence, uh, confidence factor that, I'd, that you'd have on a 27.5. So for me, the 27.5 inch wheel is, is the goer. I, I love it. Uh, I probably won't be switching from 27.5 now I've gone to. Um, and I can, I can only fully recommend this bike. I, I really love it. Uh, jumped on it. I loved it from the, the first time I rode it. it it's, it's a fantastic bike for the price that you're paying for, for bikes these days. And this bike, it, it, it is brilliantly spec. It, like, it, the value for money is phenomenal these days. Uh, and I just put a bit of a plug in for the guys uh, that I bought the bike off, Avanti Plus and Ash Burton. Uh, they looked after me really well, they gave me a good deal, they're fantastic to deal with. So look, if you're in the market for a, a Scott bike in, in the uh, Ash Burton area in New Zealand, uh, go and see Steve and, and Colin and the, and the team there and uh, they'll, be, they'll be more than helpful. Thanks for watching this review.